This is a brief review of adding the Evolve link to a course in Blackboard. In this example course, I am within a content area called Weekly Lessons, and to add the Evolve link, I will go to Tools, choose Evolve link, give this a name, and I'm going to hide this from students because this is just going to be useful for me, the instructor. Okay, now that the Evolve link is added to the course me uh, menu here, I will click on the link, navigate to the Evolve website, and here is where I can choose my content. So let's say that I want to connect to Evolve resources for anatomy and physiology. So if I want to, I can create a link to this resource in my course. I will just click the create link, copy it go back to weekly lessons and here I will go to build content, choose web link, give this a name, paste the URL here and because this is an LTI, choose the link this to tool provider checkbox and click submit. So if I were to click on that, that should take me to the launch screen. I'll click launch and that takes me to one level into that resource so I could see the instructor resources, student resources, and test bank. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the Evolve link originally here and click on the Evolve resources for anatomy and physiology and just confirm, yep, this is what is with inside it. Now if I wanted to just link to the student resources, again, um, what I can do is click create link. I can copy the URL, go back to my weekly lessons area, go to build content, web link, call this student resources, paste this, check the box for the LTI, click submit, and that adds the student resources link. Okay, that's good. All right, let's try one more thing. I wanna try adding a test bank. So I'm gonna to go to the Evolve page where I can drill down and look at my instructor resources. I see there's a test bank here. I'm just gonna drill down. I could see there are links, but there are also downloads. So I'm going to download, let's say I wanna download this chapter five test bank. So I'll click the chapter five download button here. It's going to download as a common cartridge. And once it's downloaded, I will go to my course in Blackboard and go to packages and utilities, import package, click import package, browse my local files and find that file I just downloaded. Here it is. Click open and then scroll down under select course materials. Just select everything just to make sure anything in that package comes in and then click submit and you'll get the purple banner at the top of the page. Now just wait a few minutes and uh, once the process is complete you should see something in the menu like this, Test Bank Chapter 5. If I were to click on it I could see that that import brought in an actual Blackboard test that is already deployed and I can edit the test to take a look at it. I could see that here's the questions with answers clearly marked. Um, I can make changes to this test. I can remove questions, change their point values. However, I need uh, to do note that there is a large volume of questions here in different types. So you should review the test and make changes if there's anything you don't want to use. Um, you could also edit the test options to customize how this test presents and becomes available to the student. And that's my brief test of the Evolve Elsevier integration.